I made redstone Russian. A while back, I tried to make a segmented display for the Russian alphabet and I was inspired by a video made by Posi. For those who don't know, segmented displays are made up of segments that can turn on and off independently and they can be found in things like digital clocks. After a bit of tinkering, my design ended up having only 12 segments, which I thought was pretty good but I really didn't do anything with this design. That is, until my friends gave me an interesting idea. What if I make this with redstone to display Russian? To begin with, I decided what I wanted this redstone build to actually do. It would simply have a keyboard and a screen to type some Russian text. The screen would use a modular design with each module starring and displaying just one letter. The main challenge was figuring out how to store all of the letters that you typed. I quickly chose a shift register as a simple yet effective solution. Essentially, the data is stored in these locked repeaters and when new data comes in, the repeaters are unlocked, shifting the old data over and making space for the new one. But what would the data for each letter actually look like. In real computers, this would use an encoding standard, for example ASCII or Unicode, which assigns each letter with a unique binary code. However, if I were to use this in my machine, then reading the binary code and determining which segments are supposed to be on would be very bulky since the parts for this process would be required in every single module of the segment display. So instead of having a decoder and encoder for each module, I decided that it would be better if there's only one of these for the entire machine located at the keyboard. The letters would already be translated into the segment data before being stored in the shift register. Of course, using this way, there would be more data to store per character, which means more redstone lines in the shift register. But I thought this compromise would be just fine. Now, the data from the shift register is fed into the segmented displays, which I modified slightly from the original design. It now has 17 segments, and each segment state corresponds with one line in the shift register. But you might notice that there are only 14 lines in the shift register, while there are 17 segments. So how is this possible? Well, that's because one of these redstone lines is quite special, as it acts like a modifier. For example, you can see that these two letters look quite similar, and the only difference between them is this bottom right part. So, in this case, if you turn on the modifier bit, that would turn on the bottom right segment. But in another case, like the soft sign and the hard sign, then the modifier would instead control that segment. And for E and E krat koye, then it would control the diacritic at the top. The last thing to discuss is the keyboard, which is actually pretty simple. When one of these levers are on, then these redstone torches on this redstone line will output some hard-coded segment data. This is called an encoder circuit. Then the data gets sent to the back of the screen, which is where the shift register is located. To actually insert the data into the shift register, I made this button, which would type the character currently selected. I also added a reset lever which unlocks all of the lock repeaters in the shift register, which lets all of the data 
to keep moving to the left until it just disappears. And that's about it. I've explained pretty much everything about how this machine works. If you would like to try it out, there's a world download in the description. I hope you learned something new and make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future projects. Thanks for watching.